Hi everyone, so I am able to get my vaccine today, vaccine passport today. So you can see the Hi everyone, so welcome to my YouTube channel, Kaudo Travels. So once again, I am back with a new video. So today video is going to be very, very interesting because a lot of my friends ask me how to get this vaccine passport. So as you can see, I have my vaccine passport. So I will explain to you step by step how to get this vaccine passport in Thailand. So I think this video is going to be very interesting because a lot of my expat friends and also my Thai friends ask me about how to get this uh, 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 vaccine passport from Thailand. So let me go one by one. So okay, so okay guys, back to topic. So as you know that many countries already started doing the vaccination and some of the countries already reached like 50 to 60 percent uh, from their population. So with this vaccination process, as you know that some countries now has issued it, issued some rules that uh, if you're traveling from one country to another country, so you need to provide a vaccine a certificate or the vaccine passport. I think most of the like 80% of the countries in the world now only accepting vaccine passport. So currently I'm in Thailand. So as you can see, uh, Thailand also issuing started issuing uh, vaccine passports. So this is my vaccine passport I got actually yesterday. So I, I like to explain about this one how to obtain this vaccine passport in Thailand. Okay guys, so let's go to the step-by-step uh, -step process how to get this vaccine passport in Thailand. Okay, so first of all, of course, yes, you have to get the first two, uh, first and second doses of the vaccine, right? I mean, I, I, I mean, as you know that there are many vaccine types in the world. So number of doses is depend on the vaccine type. So as you know, Thailand is currently giving uh, Sinovac, Sinopharm, AstraZeneca and Pfizer vaccine and also uh, they are planning to bring uh, Modern and uh, Johnson vaccines as well. So okay guys, so let's back to our topic. So yes, as I mentioned, what are the documents that you need to provide to get this vaccine passport? Okay, I will uh, explain you one by one. So the most important document is your original passport. For foreigners, yes, you have to provide your original passport to the uh, uh, the place that you're going to get the vaccine passport and the second document is the vaccine certificate Right, so these are the two mandatory requirements uh, That you need to fulfill before you uh, get the vaccine passport Actually, there's another document they might ask from you which is your travel itinerary so because sometimes they might ask you about uh, uh, what is the uh, uh, whether do you have the um, the flight ticket that you the place that you're going to so maybe uh, for me but they didn't ask you that one so but make sure that you have this uh, uh, the flight ticket as well if uh, if they ask from you okay guys okay guys so I explained the documents that you need uh, to get the vaccine passport so now I will tell you the place that you have to go to get the uh, vaccine passport so uh, so one place is the Samut Prakan uh, in the Swarnabhoom uh, airport so you can go there and directly get your vaccine passport from there otherwise you need to go to the Urban Institute for Disease Prevention and Control uh, near the uh, Laxi um, station area so this is a place so I will put all these information uh, under the video so you can check later so okay guys so before you go here to this uh, urban institute for disease prevention and control so you need to do a booking first so i will also put you uh, put the uh, the link uh, in the uh, below uh, under the video so you can uh, check that one so first uh, uh, so it actually uh, the website is in thai language so you might need to uh, do some translation as well so the first thing you need to do is uh, you need to select the date and then once you select the date so you can see the time period that uh, 
you can visit to get the vaccine passport but make sure that uh, you cannot go uh, just without having a booking which means you, they will not allow walk-in um, process for this vaccine passport so it's it's really important to remember that uh, you need to have a booking before you go so okay guys so i think uh, they open from like uh, 8 to 11 a.m in the morning and after that they again open from uh, 1 p.m to 3 p.m so after 3 p.m they will close the uh, vaccine passport issuing so so once you uh, so you can uh, go to this website uh, i mentioned already in the uh, under the video so once you book the date and time and you need to go ex exactly the specified time um, uh, in the uh, in the website so uh, so you can just go there I will uh, put uh, put the uh, the Google map location there uh, sometimes it's kind of very difficult to find even uh, for me the first time it was really difficult to find the place because uh, uh, they have like uh, two or three buildings in the same place so once you search in the Google map it's kind of difficult to go to the exact place so even in my first time I had to walk a little bit because I uh, get off from the wrong place from the taxi so uh, I will tell you that uh, uh, I mean I will al uh, already mention the correct uh, uh, Google Map location so I think it will be very easy for you to go and uh, find the place and also I will put some um, uh, photo as well so then uh, it will be you will be easy to find the place okay guys so uh, I will tell you one more thing the how to get get there so first of all I mean if you are in the BTS line or the MRT line so you can uh, go to uh, if, let's say that if you are in the MRT line so you can go to the, um, the Chandrachak uh, station MRT and then from there you can get the new uh, BTS line uh, to get to the uh, what um, let me check uh, you can uh, get the new uh, BTS station called Wat Pra Sri Mahatat so you can just directly go to that uh, BTS station and get off then then you will have to go uh, to walk like 100 meters so I will explain that one as well and also uh, if you go by a uh, taxi I think it will be easier so you can just directly go to that place and um, uh, uh, get there okay guys so I explained to you how, how to get there and then um, okay once you uh, get to the office so uh, in, when you enter from the, the door, then there will be like a small box. So you need to um, uh, pick up uh, another queue number because let's say that uh, if you book the, the time slot between the 1 p.m. to uh, 2 p.m. So there are like around uh, maybe 20 or 30 people already uh, booked in that time period. So it's like first come first serve basis. So you need to pick up uh, the queue card and then uh, you have to wait. Uh, until your number call so once you pick up the queue card so you can uh, there's a small uh, lobby area so you can uh, stay until your queue is called queue number is called of health uh, in Thailand so once you got the uh, both doses as example I got the Sinopharm vaccine so uh, for my vaccine I had to get uh, uh, two doses so once you completed all the doses in your vaccine so the relevant hospital or the medical institute will provide you this uh, uh, the vaccine certificate so actually it's issued by the uh, the ministry of health in thailand so you need this is a very important document so uh, so when you try to get this vaccine passport so they will get this vaccine certificate you need uh, so they will check all these documents uh, all these uh, sorry all these uh, information and also the QR code as well so once they scan the QR code so they can see all your vaccine details and your personal information as well so so make sure guys you should have this one after you complete all your doses uh, as an example AstraZeneca, Sinopharm, Sinopharm and Sinovac all vaccines need two, no, two doses per person so once you complete all two doses so you will get this 
vaccine certificate so this is the most important document that you have to provide it for the uh, the vaccine passport uh, place okay so guys uh, uh, I will uh, put uh, all these uh, links uh, all this uh, information uh, under the uh, uh, my uh, video so you can check that one as well okay so I told you about my uh, your original passport your passport and um, then you have this vaccine certificate so the uh, so once so let's say that uh, you got your queue number and you are sitting there in the lobby and then uh, from the front office uh, they will call your number so then you need to go there and then uh, you need to provide the passport your original passport uh, for Thai uh, person so you can provide either passport or your national ID so after that um, uh, they will check all your documents uh, your identification document either passport or the uh, your national ID and then the most important document like I said the uh, vaccine certificate so uh, then uh, uh, they check everything and then they will give you like a uh, another token so then uh, you just need to go to the counter uh, number four as I remember uh, sorry counter number one so again um, uh, so then they will check all your details uh, in the counter number uh, counter number one and they will also check whether your details are already in the MOPH system so MOPH system means that the uh, the, uh, the system given by the Ministry of Health so your vaccine details should be uh, exist in that system so I had a like a uh, I will tell you about my experience so in my first attempt uh, in there so uh, I got I didn't get the uh, my details into that system because uh, I, uh, I forgot to get my vaccine certificate from the place I got my uh, jabs so so make sure that uh, whether you have the correct uh, vaccine certificate uh, otherwise you have to waste your time a little bit so after they check all your documents and all your uh, information regarding the vaccine details so then they will um, hand over to another uh, department to um, to print your passport uh, your print your vaccine passport so they will check all the details again and then they will give you uh, 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 they will start uh, uh, printing your all your details into this uh, yellow book or we call this vaccine passport and then after that they will ask you to correct and check uh, cross check with your vaccine certificate and uh, your uh, passport whether your name is correct whether your birthday and your passport number and your vaccine details are correct like that so after you confirm everything is okay so then they will give you your receipt uh, like this so this is a receipt so like this so you can um, uh, go to the uh, counter number four and then they will uh, issue a uh, uh, receipt for you so then you need to uh, go to the counter number five actually both are uh, uh, close together so then uh, they will ask you to pay uh, 50 baht so after you pay this uh, 50 baht so then uh, uh, you will get this uh, the receipt again back to the uh, the department that your vaccine passport is processing uh, once they receive this certificate they will pro uh, they will give you your vaccine passport and your uh, your original passport as well so that this is the process guys so if you have any questions you can put your comments and your questions uh, as comment so I can uh, give you help uh, if I if I if I could so so after uh, they check all the all those things so they will uh, give you this vaccine uh, passport and the uh, uh, your all your documents so remember guys that uh, once you uh, get this vaccine passport so they will keep the vaccine certificate because uh, there's no point of uh, uh, using the vaccine certificate because you already have this uh, vaccine passport so you can um, see that it's very uh, uh, like uh, there are many countries already that they are accepting this vaccine certificate so even you can see that uh, not only your uh, your two doses you can print you can see there are like a few pages as well so if you're going to get like uh, more doses in future actually we are not sure about that but 
if you have plan or if you had to get like that so i think that you can continue using this vaccine passport so uh yeah this is the process guys about the uh, getting a vaccine passport in thailand so if you guys have any other questions uh, you can put a post in the comment section so yeah so i like to uh, uh, do another video like this uh, about uh, uh, to give some help to all my uh, friends uh, all my uh, uh, fellow friends so guys i think that's it about the uh, getting a vaccine passport in thailand uh, episode so i hope you enjoy and i hope that uh, everybody got some uh, valuable information from me so i just want to share my experience of getting a vaccine passport from thailand so just stay tuned guys so i will i will do many videos in future so um, we'll see you again have a nice day guys and stay safe and um, take care of yourself bye see you